What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Today we are opening up our third booster box for UFO. This time it's going to come from another source, not the same source as the first two booster boxes. So let's go ahead and see if we pull different cards out of here. Now we are also going to spice this one up a little bit. We are going to do a pack battle. It's actually a rematch versus WBT Gaming, Weeby Token Gaming. So there's going to be a link to his video, his kind of his response video down in the comments. Uh, a pinned comment down in the description and then also hopefully at the end of the video we'll have it just pop up for you so after you watch and see everything that i pull in this video head on over there give him a like give him a subscribe check out what he pulls then let us know down in the comments who had the better booster box last time we faced off was back in wilderness and it was really close it was kind of on the line this time we're going big we're doing an entire booster box i know it can be kind of a tall ask to watch an entire booster box opening let alone two so we're gonna try to just blaze through this booster box okay so we're not gonna be looking at the silver and bronze or anything like that we're just going to jam through this and look at the hits the ones that matter most we're talking about full hollows we'll take a look at the reverse hollows naturally but as for the rares and all of that kind of stuff not a big deal this time around let's get it all out here All right, so hopefully we hit some different cards than we've been hitting. Hopefully some of the different uh, Supernova 6. This is coming from a different source, like I said, so we are throwing a little bit of science in here. We're just going to get right into it and see if we can. So we want, uh, we want your feedback. Let us know who you think has the better pulls down in the comments so we know who won. Oh. So this is a little bit new. We got Headless Cannoneer in reverse. Don't believe I've pulled that one before. And a Men in Black in the non-hollow slot. All right. Starting out with a reverse hollow. A little bit unusual. If we can't get any. Starting out with two reverse hollows. Oh no. Black Demon, Reverse Hollow. Normally, it's not a big deal. I'm sure it will turn out to not be a big deal. These booster boxes are absolutely loaded, as we've seen. Good luck, WBT Gaming. Hopefully, we both have bangers of boxes. We got a Full Hollow Spirit Infusion. And a Sparky Slushy, non-hollow. All right. So the first booster box we opened up, we had 29 full hollows. The second one, we had 30. So we're looking to either beat that or at least come close. We got water submergence full hollow. There it is, a van meter non-hollow. That was a non-hollow that I hadn't pulled yet. See if we can't pull a mini T-Rex, a UFO, a neutrality, totality aura. Some of the ones I haven't pulled yet. A Foo Fighters, very nice. Full hollow and a Hatman non-hollow. I think Hatman comes in full hollow. It's one we need to pull as well. There's still a decent amount we need to pull. I think we've got half. The three of the Supernova 6, I believe. Yeah. Need to pull uh the, there it is. I was gonna say the level end rocket. We need to pull a full hollow version for sure. I think I needed this this reverse hollow as well. I would like to get the full hollow version though. But this booster box is already seeming to have more reverse hollows. I know it's early. We got Sparky Slushy. Full hollow and spirit infusion non hollow. So I think what are we? We're like three and three right now. 
super unusual for UFO so far, from what I've experienced and seen. But you know, we'll see how it goes. Reverse hollow pocket dimension orb and supernatural black hole in the non hollow. Alright. Somebody pulls a serial card, that's just gonna end it right there. There we go, we got Caster Gun, Full Hollow, one of my favorite arts. It is just so shiny the way that it came out. There's so much hollow on there. I mean, all of them have a ton, but just being, you know, silver and all of that. All right, we got the monster of Partridge Creek, reverse hollow, and a drowned sea orb. Well, if he gets a normal UFO box that has like 25 plus hollows, I mean, it's still early and we're, we're pulling the reverse hollow, so we might be in trouble. We got a full hollow drowned sea orb with a forest friends non-hollow. All right, we're moving quickly. We got Kodiak Dinosaur Reverse Hollow and a Van Meter again, though. All right, this is uh, interesting. The first source that I opened the booster boxes seemed to be better. That in the wrong slot. But you never know, it's still really early in this box. We could just go on a run. I guess that works either way. We got a Pomola Full Hollow in an Omen Street Orb. I've got to imagine he's got me right now so far. Frozen Rain Orb. I'm not sure I have that one, actually. And an Evil Winds in the non-hollow. Not sure if I have that in full hollow, so that might be a win right there. Remember, we are doing the Booster Box and Fan Art Pack giveaway. At 500 subs, we are getting really close. We got the Seven Thunders Reverse Hollow. Sweet. I do not have that one. Reverse hollows have been pretty rare. Uh, that we seem to be getting a nice chunk in this box. Bad timing though. Like I don't mind. I don't mind some reverse hollows, but we are trying to pack battle here, so a little bit of bad timing on that. All right, we got Rougarou, reverse hollow, and Dragon's Rise non-hollow. Yeah, I think we're in trouble here. And thus, magically, he also got a box that was that has a decent amount of reverse hollows. We got Iridescent Orb, full hollow, nice looking card. Static Snowstone Non. All right. I mean, you can't complain. It's still, like more or equal hollows as non -ho uh, reverse hollows, but you know, just from what we've seen so far, we got Burning Spirit Imprint full hollow with Houston Batman non hollow. Just what we've seen so far in the UFO booster box box openings. Reverse hollows have been rare. I think we're so we're officially halfway through the box, and we've gotten more reverse hollows than I ever have so far, in the first two boxes at least. Not a lot. Um, not a large example. The Leveland Rocket, Reverse Hollow again, with Cryptid Busters, non-hollow. But you know what? Plenty of these Reverse Hollows we actually need for our binder, so it's not the worst. There it is, full hollow, Leveland Rocket, needed it. Great. And a frozen rain orb. Sweet.
Now, it doesn't look like we've pulled any Supernova 6, so if we can grab one before this is over, that would be awesome, especially if it's one that we don't have yet. We got Frozen Rain Orb in the reverse, Iridescent Orb in the non-holo. Oh, there it is, Hatman, full hollow. That's also one we have yet to pull. So um, the different source of booster boxes is kind of working. We're, we're pulling some cards that we had yet to pull. Um, but we are pulling about twice as many reverse hollows. Um, you know, it is what it is. Like I said, just for the, the we got another water submergence full hollow, just for the pack battle itself, Men in Black. It's not what we want to see, but for the collection, it's working out just fine. We'll just have to go on over after this and see what he pulled. I think he might get me on this one for sure. The Seven Thunders Reverse Hollow. Nothing like Wilderness, so no complaints. Round C orb. This is what we need. We need an infinite power full hollow. That's one we haven't pulled yet. When you hit so many hollows per booster box, like 30, 29, um, you know, it does take a little bit away. We got static snowstone. That's another good looking card. Full hollow. Aster gun. It does take, I think there's 40 different full hollows in the set. Total of 40 full hollows, unique full hollows, outside of the serialized secret rares or what have you. So when you pull 30 in a box, you know, they were all different, you'd almost have all, you know, 75% of the full hollows. You got a spirit infusion full hollow. Be honest, I think we're getting tossed on this one. Not a bad box, but I don't think it's gonna be a winner. We got the monster of Partridge Creek. I can't, and a spirit infusion. I just can't imagine him losing to this box based on the history. But as I said, I'm still happy with the box. It's a terrific box. I've gotten cards I need. Rocky Dingo Reverse Hollow. That might be another reverse that I need. Evil Winds. Proctor Valley Monster Full Hollow. Evil Winds. On hollow. Come on, give us a Supernova 6 right here at the end. One I haven't pulled yet would be great. Dark Shard Meteorite, full hollow. Caster Gun, non hollow. So we are at least finishing strong with a run of full hollows here. Kind of, what is that, two in a row? <laughs> Felt like more. Forgot we pulled that proc uh, Crocodingo just recently. Let's see. Got Omen Street Orb, full hollow. So we're keeping it going. Any <laughs> evil wins. Three out of the last four non hollows have been evil wins. Three more packs. Four more packs. Finish strong. Let's go. Casablanca Entities, Reverse Hollow. Cool, very cool. Do not have that one, Men in Black, non hollow I was watching Argos the other day. He was just live streaming. It might have been yesterday. And uh, he's selling booster packs, like loose booster packs. His one booster box had three neutrality totality auras. 
We got the Static Snow Stone Full Hollow again with Dark Shard Meteorite Non Hollow. Oh, and his one booster box. He had three of those auras. Super cool. We have yet to pull one though. This is our third booster box, and we got two packs left. It's looking like we're not gonna grab one. So much like Wilderness, I just cannot pull the aura, the special aura. We got Evil Winds, full hollow with a Joaquinian non hollow. All right, last pack, magic. Pocket Dimension Orb, full hollow. Dark Shard Meteorite, non hollow. So, like I said, I got to imagine he's going to take this one. We don't really need to look through the reverse hollows, but we're, we are anyways. There's a good amount. There's actually a really good amount that I don't have for my binder, so super cool. At least like six, at least six or seven the binder so that's good as for full hollows let's see pocket dimension orb evil winds static snow stone omen street orb dark shard meteorite Proc proctor valley monster spirit infusion static snow stone water submergence hat man that's a new one for me leveland rocket that's a new one for me burning spirit imprint iridescent orb Frozen Rain Orb, maybe a new one for me. Mola, Ground Sea Orb, Caster Gun, Sparky Slushy, Who Fighters, Water Submergence again, and a Spirit Infusion again. Let's just get a count on that. Should have counted while I was going. Twenty-one. So we went twenty-one and fifteen. Still really good by any booster box standards for any TCG, really. But um, for UFO and what we've seen so far, on the lower end. Recently, I think in the last video, I said I haven't even seen a video with less than 25 full hollows. Um, someone in the comments let me know that they had pulled one with less than that. And now I have pulled one with less than that. I think it's good overall. Not every box can have like 30 full hollows, so it does get a little crazy. But anyways... Let's all head over to WBT Gaming and let's take a look at his booster box, see what he pulled, links are everywhere, and uh, go ahead and go down in the comments and let us know who won. Have a hunch, it's going to be him, but uh, good luck WBT, I'm going to head over there and check it out now. Thank you all for stopping by, and we'll see you on the next video.